Here we need to find the value of uh, cube root of minus i or minus i power 1 by 3. Here I am going to use uh, D Moivre's theorem for rational index because here power of uh, this complex number is rational number. Here denominator tells us a number of solutions for this problem. So here we get how many solutions? Three solutions because here denominator is three. So denominator lo a number unto undo any solutions of time okay. So since power of this complex number is a rational number. So, which is in p by q form. So, I am going to use uh, D no, D, I mean, D Moivre's uh, theorem. D Moivre's theorem for rational index. And let us solve this problem step by step. Step 1. Here, uh, the question is cube root of uh, minus i or minus uh, i power 1 by 3. So, first of all, the first step, step 1 is convert, convert the given complex number into polar form. So we have to convert the given complex number into polar form. So the given polar uh, form means uh, we can skip this uh, this particular step. So already the polar formula is polar form means uh, it must be in the form of uh, z is equal to r into cos theta plus uh, i sin theta or cos theta minus i sin theta. So it must have cos theta and sin theta. So you learn that. But anyhow, here we have uh, my minus i power 1 by 3. So we have to convert it into polar form. So polar form lock man convert So see what I am going to do. Here minus i can be written as 0 minus 1 into i power 1 by 3. If you simplify this you will get again minus i power 1 by 3. So, what is the reason why uh, I just uh, manipulated uh, this minus i as 0 minus 1 into i? Because uh, here I am going to introduce cos theta and sin theta, some cos theta and some sin theta. Because we have to convert this algebraic form into some Euler form. This is algebraic form. And we have to convert it into polar form. So, we need to introduce cos theta and sin theta. Cos theta sin theta can introduce here. So, we can apply theorem. That's why. So, in the name here, minus i is there. So, minus i can be written as 0 minus i. And at the same time, minus i again, yeah, and this minus i can be written as minus 1 into i. Now, for, so we know that in polar form, we have cos theta as a real part and i sin theta and sin theta in imaginary part. Actually, this is Euler form. So, e power i theta. So, first we need real part. In real part, we need cosine function. In imaginary part, we need sine function. So, first one ki, e real part lo nemo cosine function raval. Imaginary part lo nemo sine function raval. And remember, uh, e, uh, in Euler form, the arguments must be same. So, theta theta. Here, for cosine function and sine function, Arguments are same. So here we have to introduce uh, cosine function in real part and sine function in imaginary part, and at the same time both the functions must have same argument. So we know that the cos pi by two is equal to zero, sine pi by two is equal to one, cos pi by two is equal to zero, sine pi by two is equal to one. So so using uh, uh, these two values, instead of 0, here we can write cos pi by 2 minus, in place of 1, we can write sin pi by 2 into i whole power 1 by 2. Or we can write cos pi by 2 minus i into sin pi by 2. Okay?
now these two are having same arguments so same arguments are avali renditiki same arguments untane ee theorem apply cheyagal so endukante ikkada maniki eulor form or polar form lo if you observe and cosine function and sine function are having same arguments same inputs e undali rendu if you consider polar form ela untundi r into cos theta plus i sin theta see here arguments are same theta theta now we converted this is all about step 1 so in step 1 we have to convert the given complex number into polar form okay so now it becomes uh, polar form see cos theta sub minus uh, i into some sin theta it may be positive or negative it, it doesn't matter okay no? we need some cos function in real part and we need uh, sin function in imaginary part ante so manaki ipudu cos function it's in the sin they, they are having same argument okay na no? only converted uh, Uh, algebraic form into some polar form so uh, next step 2 so step 1 uh, expression uh, sin uh, sorry cos uh, pi by 2 minus uh, i sin pi by 2 we convert it algebraic form into polar form and step 2 to get uh, Three solutions. Here denominator is three, so denominator gives us number of solutions uh, for the given problem, given complex number. Here three is there. We will get how many solutions? Three solutions. Denominator lo uh, number aye dete un tundo rational uh, power ki any solutions hoste. Here denominator lo three hundi, so we will get three solutions. To get three solutions, according to De Moivre, add two k pi. in the argument in the argument so here argument means angle simple meaning in formal uh, language here argument means angle so we have to add 2k pi in the argument in argument means for here what is the argument pi by 2 see pi by 2 ku man meme add cheyali we should add 2k pi so then only we will get uh, three solutions so add cos If pi by two came chali, pi by two plus two k pi minus i into minus i into sine pi by two plus two k pi whole power one by two whole power one by two. Okay. Remember here k is equal to here k is equal to zero, one, two, three, and so on up to n minus one. In general, but anyhow, here we need how here we get how many solutions? Three solutions. We have to consider k values zero, one, two. So why? Because here total number of solutions. In this time, I mean, that three solutions are there. So k is equal to zero. So k plus plus zero is equal to first solution. Is there? K plus plus one is equal to second solution. K is equal to two is equal to third solution. Is there? And remember, we must consider values of k uh, as consecutive numbers. They must be uh, values of k must be consecutive numbers. Only consecutive numbers are this call. Okay, now starting from zero. Zero, one, two. Okay, no? so we cannot consider in random order. Random order lo this ko kore. This kunte you will get wrong answers, wrong solutions as well. So consecutive order lo starting from zero nici start chya le. Okay, na zero nici start chya si. Suppose three solutions ka wali consider k is equal to zero one time, k is equal to one and k is equal to two. You will get three solutions. At last uh, we will substitute k values. Okay. Anyhow, this is all about uh, step two. And what is step three? In step three, apply, apply, D Moivre's theorem. Apply D Moivre's theorem. So D Moivre's theorem applies here. It means uh, we know that uh, according to D Moivre, cos theta plus uh, some i sin theta whole power n is equal to what is the formula? Is it cos theta plus i sin theta whole power n is equal to cos n theta plus uh, multiply with argument i sin n theta. If it is minus, then cos theta minus i sin theta whole power n is equal to cos n theta minus i sin n theta 
okay na no? i sin into so apply this formula after applying de moivre's theorem the final expression is cos of 1 by 3 into pi by 2 plus 2k pi minus i sin 1 by 3 into pi by 2 plus 2k pi anyhow uh, to get first solution to get first solution put k is equal to put k is equal to to get first solution put k is equal to so cos 1 by 3 into pi by 2 1 into pi 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 by 3 to the r 6 pi by 6 so if k is equal to 0 this entire term becomes 0 because 0 into 2 pi 0 So cos pi by six minus i into sine. Here also one by three into pi by two, we will get pi by six. And if k is equal to zero, this entire term becomes zero. Then you will get uh, pi by six. We know that uh, so cos pi by six. Cos pi by six means one eighty by six thirty degrees. Cos thirty degrees uh, root three by two minus i into sine thirty degrees. Uh, how much sine thirty? One by two. So you will get uh, root three by two minus uh, i into one i i or uh, root three minus uh, here denominator is common. So here all same is two or uh, denominators are same. Add or subtract numerators. So generally we add numerators because here for root three is positive and i is negative. So plus into minus into minus so minus, root three minus uh, i by two. This is first solution. So first solution. So first solution is uh, root three minus i by two, or it can also be written as uh, minus i plus uh, root three by. Two. Okay. To get second solution, put k is equal to cos one by three into pi by two. We will get pi by six plus k value is one. So two into pi two pi distribute one by three. One by three into two pi two pi by three minus i into sine one by three into pi by two pi by six. Now distribute one by three to here k value is one. So two into pi two pi one by three into two pi two pi. By Here LCM is six, six ones are six, so pi into one pi plus three. Here denominator is three, three twos are six, two twos are four, four pi minus i into sine. So anyhow the same argument here. So denominator, I mean LCM is six. And six one times six one is so six, so one into pi pi, and three two zero six. So multiply the numerator two into two pi four pi. I'm simply multiplying multiple with the numerator. So cos pi plus four pi 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 by six minus i sine pi pi by six. So cos pi pi by six. This is the value of cos pi pi by six. So here cos pi pi by six means a cos. So six. This pi means one eighty. Six thirty is a one eighty. Cos one fifty degrees. So we are going to find the value of cos one fifty degrees. So cos one fifty degrees can be written as cos ninety some multiple of ninety. Ninety plus theta. So ninety plus sixty degrees. Ninety degrees plus sixty degrees. Cos 90 plus theta minus sine theta sine 60 degrees. So minus sine 60 value root 3 by 2. So now tell me what is the value of cos 150 degrees minus root 3 by 2. So this value is minus root 3 by 2 minus sine sine 150 degrees. And similarly, if you proceed, uh, 
same steps you will get uh, cos 150 degrees uh, value uh, 1 byte we will get cos 150 is equal to 1 byte so 1 byte so finally what you will get uh, you will get minus root 3 by 2 minus uh, i by or if you take uh, uh, if you consider here denominators are same so you can write uh, minus root 3 minus i by 2 as the second solution minus root 3 minus i by 2 okay now next uh, substitute k is equal to 2 you will get third solution so now substitute k is equal to 2 to get third solution we have to substitute k is equal to 2 so now cos of 1 by 3 i by 2 plus put k is equal to 2 2 into 2 4 4 pi minus i into sin 1 by 3 into pi by 2 plus 2 2's are 4 4 pi so your k value is 2 cos of 1 by 3 Uh, use LCM uh, 2 4s are 8 2 4s are 8 8 pi 8 pi plus pi 9 pi 9 pi by 2 minus uh, i sin of 1 by 3 of 2 4s are 8 8 pi 8 pi plus pi 9 pi by LCM 2 so 3 1s are 3 3s are 3 1s and 3 3s are 9 so you will get cos 3 pi by 2 minus i sin 3 pi by 2. So what is the value of uh, cos 3 pi by 2? Cos 3 pi by 2. So cos 3 pi by 2. So 2 90s are 180. 3 into 90 is 270. So cos 270 and cos sin 270 here you will get sin 270 and remember value of uh, cos 270 is 0 and value of 270 is minus 1 so cos 270 is 0 so 0 minus i into sin 270 is minus 1 minus into minus plus so you will get the third solution as i so finally we got three solutions i minus root 3 minus i by 2 and one more solution root 3 minus i by 2 okay these three are solutions of uh, cube root of minus i or i minus i power 1 by 